New at 6.30 tonight, the Columbia Public School Board is expected to take a vote on a changing its district's non-discrimination policy. The change would include only four new words regarding gender identity. ABC 17's Dan Massinio talked to school administrators and joins us live from district offices right now. And Dan, some are saying the changes are unnecessary. Yeah, Joey, the board meeting just started here at the district's offices. Now, on the agenda tonight, gender identity and adding that to the non-discrimination policy. However, as you said, the attorney for CPS says it's not needed because their current po policy already covers gender identity. The Columbia Public Schools policy states that students and employees cannot be discriminated against based on race, color, religion, gender, sexual orientation, and other characteristics. Tonight, the board is expected to vote on adding two more, gender identity and gender expression. This is one of those policies that had come uh, to the forefront of the policy committee as needing to have some additional discussion about whether or not we needed to add this verbiage or if the policy um, as is would already address those issues. The intent is to further protect transgender students and employees. An attorney for CPS says the new language isn't needed. The attorney says the current policy already protects employees and students based on sex or gender and sees adding the language as redundant. Even if the board did not vote to approve the wording change, that it, all individuals would still be protected under the policy. This um, revision it just makes it more explicit. The attorney for CPS says including gender expression could be an issue down the road because some people cross-dress as a costume or for attention. Stating if this behavior became unprofessional or disruptive to the educational environment, the district might want to be able to address the situation without concerns about violating this policy. School administrators say their goal is to help students in a supportive and safe environment. Reporting live, Dan Massinio, ABC 17 News.